So when you think of Malaysia, what do you think of? You probably think of Kuala Lumpur, the place you stopped off on on your way to your other holiday, the place that you didn't really look at, you just saw the airport and then you went to Thailand. That's all I knew about it. And to think this is the history here. Have a look at this, it's absolutely beautiful. It's not what I think of. Malaysia, I think of Kuala Lumpur, or if you go to the jungle, think about orangutans and stuff. Not ancient ruins as we have here. The statue that stands right here is a tribute to the amazing man himself. Do we know who he is? No, because there's no plaque on there for me to read. But we can admire it and we can think about how was his arm amputated? Was it hit by lightning or did they just build it based on him only having half an arm? Well, that is the end of your historical tour here of Malacca. Why? Because I am not a human encyclopedia, but I do my best. That one is built by the Portuguese. Portuguese? Yes. Yeah. Are you, you're Malaysian? Yeah, yeah. I'm from Malacca. Oh, you're from Malacca. Ah, I'm from here. Wow. Uh, what can you tell us about this building? No, that, that building is 512 years. Wow. It's amazing. The Portuguese came here in 1511. 1511, yeah. So that's... now it's 2023. Your minus is 512 years. Wow, you got some good maths there. Yeah. <laughs> what so, is your name? Uh, I'm Richard. Richard? Yes. Marco. You are? Marco. Marcus. Yeah, Marcus, Marco. Guys, we have Richard here who's going to show us the area. So you are from Malacca. You were born here? Yeah, I'm born here. You live your whole life? Huh? You lived all 40 years yeah, of your life no, here? 76 years. I'm 76. You're 76? Yes. And you're a very fit man. You <laughs> yeah. can walk up and down the stairs no, easy. I, every day I exercise. That's good. Hey guys, okay. exercise is the key yeah. for a long life. Yeah. The Dutch came here in 1641. And as a, a Malaysian, an honest question. Yeah. Uh, was it a bad thing when the Portuguese came here? Did they come forcefully? Oh, they come forcefully. Yeah, so would they have killed a lot of the Malaysians? No, no, no. They no. Can, uh, during the year 1511, the population is very little. Smaller population? Yeah, small. So they kind of came here, colonized it, yeah, yeah. but it, they just forced their way in. Yeah. Yeah. They, they were here for 130 years. After that, the Dutch came. The Dutch came? Yeah, the Dutch conquered Malacca from the Portuguese. So then the Dutch actually took it off yeah. the Portuguese. They didn't leave by choice. Yeah. Uh, you take river cruise. It's a river cruise? Yeah, from there. You buy the ticket, then you take from there. China princess. She married the Sultan of Malacca. So it's a Chinese graveyard and Chinese ah, well. Yeah, well. And you've got Chinese heritage? Yes, yes. Okay. Well, that sounds like the place to go. Okay. You just direct me and we, ah, can, okay. we can go there. My father, the time, during the Japanese occupation, yes, my father is still alive. And he fought against the Japanese? Yeah. What year was that? Huh? I think it's 1943 or 44. And what, what division of the military was he involved in? Yeah. The, the, the Japanese conquered Malaysia. Oh. Within one week, they came from the north. One week, the whole of Malaysia monopolized by the Japanese. One week? One week. One week. This is uh, this graveyard. During the Japanese occupation, those people killed, they are buried here. So the people killed here, uh. the by the, the Chinese, Japanese. yeah, by the Chinese. They're all buried by here. the Japanese. So this is a actual graveyard here. Yeah. So they, they built this this monument as a remembrance. Remembrance. I'll tell you what, Richard here, yeah. at the age of 76, he's very fit. <laughs> he's very fit. Thanks a lot. <laughs> <laughs> this is the local people buried here. From what years? It is very long time ago. Hundreds of years ago? Yeah. Now, nowadays, the government don't let them to bury here already. Let's go this way? Ah, up. It's beautiful how the trees yeah. arch over like that. Mm. This tree, they have a lot of monkeys. 
There's monkeys here. Yeah. Really? Uh, yes. Do you think we'll see any? Huh? I, I saw. When I passed here, I saw a lot of monkeys jumping here and there. Well, <laughs> which day? Huh? No, they come out. Because you know why? Once they are hungry, they are looking for food. Bananas and all of that kind of thing. Maybe tourists here, lunch. Here they got bananas. There is no bananas. We can pop yeah. just here. This food is from the Malacca tree. It's called gooseberry. In English, that they call gooseberry. And this food is very good for cough, high blood pressure, and diabetes. How many would one person need to eat a day? Uh, two. Two a day? Ah, uh, two. You see, they got the cannons there. You see, see all the cannons. See, you saw. You see, the Portuguese built this this hill, you know, the fortress here, is because why? They, they, they want to attack the enemies from here. You know, from there, the A for Musa, they go inside the tunnel, then they come, come to here. So this is a tunnel underneath where we're yeah, standing? Yes. Yeah. No, I don't know where is the tunnel here. From there, the tunnel, they will come here. Uh, then, because last time here, all sea. Last time in front here, all sea. No, all sea. The houses there are all sea. They reclaim. All sea. Ah, then from here they will attack the enemy. Is this a, a real yes, cannon? cannon. Yes. This is a real cannon that yeah. they used? Yes. So what did you do for work? Were you a professional or did you have a trade? No. I, in fact, when I was young, I was working in the factory. Electronic factory. Electronics? Ah, electronic factory. So building all the little components? Chips, yeah, the components. Yeah, the microchips, no? And does Malaysia still have that kind of industry or is it yeah. more going to no. China? Most of the factories, they close down. They, they go Vietnam, Laos, Cambodia. You yeah. know why? Just cheaper the labor. labor. Cheap labor there. Here, expensive. What happened to the monorail track? Huh? I don't know. The the Nobody see. They, they, got... build, they waste a lot of money. On, when did they build the monorail track? Quite some time ago, a few years ago. And then they just stopped using it? Yeah. Because nobody wants to see it. <laughs> I don't know why. Nobody wanted to use yes, it? Yes, nobody wanted to use it. Exactly the same. We had one in Sydney going around and they, in about 2008, they just finished it. Disassembled the track and it was over. In fact, now the government suggests to build tram, you know? Tram. Because train. they say, uh, tram, tram. What happened to the train line that was here? Last time it was here, somewhere around here. It was demolished by the Japanese. The Japanese just yeah, came and uh, demolished it. Yeah. I will. Uh, then I hope you can stay two or three days. Then I can bring you a lot of places. I will come back okay. if I see you. Okay. Thank you, Richard. It's thank been you. great. Yeah, thank you so thank much. You. Thank you so much. Okay. See you, huh? I will see you. You you go straight, huh? I go straight. If you don't know the way you ask people, you stop, you ask people. What is that city called I'm going to? Huh? Johor Bahru. Johor Bahru. Ah, Johor Bahru. Johor Bahru. And right near Singapore, yeah? Ah, yeah. The causeway there, you can see Singapore. You can see Singapore. Ah. Thank okay. you so much. Ah, okay. Thank you. Appreciate ah, okay. it all. Yeah, I appreciate it. So, take care, huh? See you, Richard. Okay. See you, buddy. Wow, what an interesting character. 76 years old. Fit as a fiddle. Great guy. I don't know how I get into contact with these people, but it seems every vlog when I come to a new town, I just run into the local character who's happy to be in the video and really helpful. It's great. So, yeah, um, he showed us on the map where I should go. I did want to go to one town, but he said it's boring. So he sent me to a town which is uh, right at the very base of Malaysia where you can actually see Singapore. So guys, we have had to pull off the road and we are at one of the dingiest looking towns I've ever seen because I am very tired again. So we're gonna maybe look for a coffee, maybe even a little sleep in the car. Um, yeah, I don't know what to expect here, but uh, let's see what we can find. Thank you. 
when you look at this like it's just a huge hotel you've got like a gym a couple of restaurants but as you look around in this area there's not that much here it's just like on the side of a highway but i really need a nice coffee i need to stay awake so there's a place here we might head into to see if they have any thank you my friend uh just the iced coffee today thanks brother guys so we have stopped in and we have a nice coffee oh crap it's actually hot at the bottom but icy on top so let that one get cold for a little bit awesome little place there everyone was so friendly asking where i was from and all that stuff but guess how much that iced coffee was? 40 cents. 40 cents for that. Feeling a little bit more alive, but yeah, it's just it just shows like I even thought Kuala Lumpur was quite cheap. Once you get out into these rural areas, so much cheaper. We have just gone under halfway with this 1.3 litre car. Absolutely amazing. We spent absolutely nothing on petrol, really. I think it was about $15, $20 to fill it up. And hey, here we are still going after two days. Guys, I'm about 25 minutes from Johor Bahru. And I've just pulled off the highway because I finally found something in Malaysia something I have been looking for for the past couple of weeks a little shanty town now I've just got to try to cross the road here and I'll take you guys for a bit of a look it's very busy very busy corner here but check out this place so many old cars just piled up here what have we got here it's all just being used as scrap what's this one that's not even that's not even that old that one the real old ones are sort of down here look at this thing what's this so it's like a little laneway through the through the park and into this little establishment some old cars I actually find this kind of thing really interesting just someone's someone's place and over the years they've just decided to collect all different parts of cars and just stash them there it reminds me of some of those houses in Western Sydney that you see Look at this old old scooter sometimes I think about like what I do with my life and I think how weird it is full time I'm just out on the road whether it's in a car that I've hired on a scooter public transport bus train just going to all these places all these countries all these locations which goes against the grain of what other people I know do everyone wants to go to Croatia go to the UK go to all these places where I'm like Let's go to some random Malaysian town and work out why they have spare car parts everywhere. In a town where everyone's looking at me, everyone's waving, being a bit more friendly. And I just come up with some random things to do. Look at this old beast. Hi, how are you? Everyone's, everyone's pretty cool here. But uh, yeah. We will look over this gate and then we'll get out of here. Oh my god, so it's a full it's a full graveyard for cars. He's got everything here. Guys, we finally made it to Johor Bahru, and here we are. Now, I've just thought we we're gonna really struggle for parking here because there's something I need to show you down here. 
but we have found this abandoned little spot here. Oh, they're on to us. No, they're not. It's just a local dude. But there's something here I really need to show you guys. Hopefully we can see it from here. Stairs? Yes, that's there. Uh, uh, outside there. Where are the stairs? Just yeah. over there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here. Okay. Nice. Thank you. So guys, if we just go up these stairs and we look over here, we can see Singapore. Believe it or not, it's just across from where we are. So let's find this magical staircase. We'll leave, leave the beast here and we'll head up and I can show you guys Singapore. Not sure we're meant to be walking down the, the highway like this, but it is worth it because they did not put a footpath in here. Oh my God. Well, you can see it, but you gotta wait. Two minutes, we'll be there. Guys, here is the moment of truth. We are here in Malaysia and right there, Singapore. There you go. But this absolutely stinks here, really bad. But um, maybe we go over there. Maybe we can spend a couple of hours over there tomorrow. Can you just drive over? Or is there like in immigration and all that? Oh, see, so you get a normal stamp and all that? There you go, guys. Malaysia. Singapore Malaysia Singapore Thanks brother And uh, there you go. I can't believe how bad it stinks here Like the worst smell ever Down here. Look at that Oh, Get down here well, There you go guys Singapore who would have thought it would be so close. So guys, we're gonna do the usual, find some accommodation, find some food, see if there's any nightlife, and we'll see what happens tomorrow. Explore this city here, and uh, maybe even go to Singapore for an hour or so. That is Singapore, straight over there. But we've had to book somewhere about 10 kilometers away because all around here, they know they're close to Singapore. The prices, three times more expensive. Um, Singapore views maybe, who knows. But the one we're staying in is pretty nice. Don't know what the nightlife is there. Not that we need too much, just a bit of food. Have a bit of a look. Maybe add something more to the video. But, you know, we're just gonna stay there, get a good sleep, and then tomorrow, I think what we do, we try to drive over the bridge and get into Singapore. Honestly, this part of town looks boring as shit. There's not much happening here, just like a, a highway and a few shops that I'm not really interested in. But the hotel has some good reviews, so you know what we may just stay here stay here tonight get some food and go to Singapore or the main part of this town tomorrow a few beers tonight a few beers beers, beers. sneaky beers yeah what's your name brother my brother black Apache hey I'm Marco what's up bro where are you guys going I go to my home I go yeah my working. and this is your car yes, yes my what, car. what happened to the mirror just now take out from car crash. Just now take out from uh, and the, the steering wheel is pretty cool. Very cool. Hey, do you know much about like this hotel and this area? Man, is, where, where are you from? Australia. Australia. How many years did you come here? I just got here today. But today? Yeah. yeah. Where you stay? Well, I'm thinking about staying in this hotel here. Yeah. 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 You call me. I'll, I'll call my, you. I'll you take my number. You call me. I'll okay. Call. Okay. I'll give you my number. You call me, Miss Polly. I forget. 016 uh, 014. 016. Let's see if that rings. Okay, thank you, friend. Okay. Let me do again. Okay. See ya, boys. I don't know if it's ringing. He just said to call him. <laughs> I got no idea why. 
but nice guys anyway. Um, you know what, we're gonna stay here. We're just gonna stay here at the Mellon Hotel. So this is the room. We have stepped it up a little bit. So this is 32 American dollars. It's the King Deluxe. It's still one of the cheapest I could find here. A uh, couple of issues, as you saw downstairs, they're all over the place. They don't know what's happening. Now this says it's at 18 degrees, but it is definitely not. And I'm happy about the desk. TV is a bonus, but I don't really use that anymore. Kettle, and what is the view like? Okay. So we've got highway views there. And a Mini Mart sign. So there you go. I've seriously picked the worst place in this town to stay at. Probably should have checked. There's nothing happening here tonight. The distant sounds of the call to prayer at the mosque. A few, um, couple of places to eat. Some look a little bit dodgy. They've got their own KFC called BFC. That may be the only option. We do not know at this point. And then you've got this uh, restaurant over here, very local. And I am literally the only tourist here in this town. So we'll see what we can come up with. But guys, I figured we're just gonna go to the local Indian next to my hotel if they're open. That kind of stuff, I would still consider that street food. Cause they got like all those trays ready to go. I don't wanna get sick. I've just come off two weeks of being sick, so we're going to stick to, well, Indian. That's what I actually got sick of, but it's a proper restaurant, so we could be okay. Looks like no one in here. Hey, are you open? Open. Okay. Can I sit in? Yeah, please. Thank you. Wow, look at this. Deluxe service. All by myself. It's nice in here. Nice fit out. Velvet chairs, yeah. chandeliers. Very nice, my friends. Guys, I've stayed in the most random area. The convenience store next door, they've only got like 25% of their stock. And this is literally the only genuine restaurant that I could find. The, um, the other one down there, the fake KFC, no good. So we're just gonna get some Indian food and call it a night. Man, you got to feel for places like this. Complete dining setup. They've probably got four staff on at the moment. No customers. Just me. None at all. Looks like we've got a, a ride guy here, maybe picking something up. But imagine having to pay all pay all that staff. We've just got such a quiet night. Such a small order. I'm not sure if that's every night, but yeah, you wonder how they do it. Thank you. That's uh, butter chicken? Butter chicken, yeah. Awesome, thank you. Okay, jira rice. Awesome. Probably too much rice for one person here. But, you know, I'll see what I can do. And then you got the butter chicken. Just test it out. Oh. That's amazing. That is amazing. I'm gonna leave the name up for this place. If you're swinging past the area, you probably won't after what I said about it, but if you do, come here. They need your support in business and it tastes really good. Mm. Check out this naan bread. It's not just a everyday naan bread, like how you see that folded. It's a naan bread pizza with mozzarella cheese and melt it on top. I've never seen it like that before. Let's give it a taste test, eh? Oh, cheese going everywhere. Mm. Beautiful. I am absolutely exhausted. I'm here, back in my hotel room, and honestly, this is crap. Like, I'm trying to do some stuff on the internet. Look at the speed test. The speed test won't even load. <laughs> Whatever. 
we're getting out of here tomorrow and I have something really cool planned it's a secret but I'd like to thank you guys for coming along on this journey we don't know what's gonna happen we've got five more days of just driving around going to random places meeting the characters like we met Richard today the 76 year old how good was he who knows who we're gonna meet tomorrow and the next day but we're gonna do it thank you for coming along and uh, yeah I guess that's all good night sleep tight I know I will and uh, see you guys tomorrow